It is finally answers to what Dead by Daylight's The Unknown truly is, and don't worry, these answers will leave you even more unsettled than when you didn't know. The Unknown is a result of Project Apple Pie. Project Apple Pie is the Office of Strategic Services secret government experiment related to other worlds and para-anomalous beings and objects. The main focus of these experiments is through media, especially lost films. The Greenville Theatre Map is a government research lab disguised as a regular movie theater, and the map is mostly based on the unknown's memory of Greenville, Oregon. The unknown lived in a different world than hallucinogenic trials on a civilian population combined with lost movie screenings caused the unknown to be conjured into Greenville. This caused the unknown to experience immense pain due to world displacement syndrome, which is explained in the Secret Connections video. The fifth date the unknown was conjured was in 1943. This is proven by the fact that one of the unknown's Maury voice lines is Here's looking at you, which is a very famous movie quote from the 1942 film Casablanca. It would make sense this film was playing when the Office of Strategic Services made their 1943 note, seen in the pic on Dunn's description. The unknown has a Maury voice line that says The Horror, which is a movie quote from the 1979 film Apocalypse Now. 1979 is seven years after the Greenville Theatre map calendar, and at least two years before the Moonstone Cafe mural. This puts the Project Apple Pie timeline from 1943 to at least 1981, though likely much later than that because of the screenings of Murder Mill 2. The Unknown's lore fifth paragraph discussing an 1800 seance is a red herring. The lore started in 1943. The unknown was first conjured through people's thoughts in a gateway which led to it experiencing illness caused by other world travel. Think of this like a tiger, a dangerous wild creature, that's only known the jungle randomly waking up in New York's Times Square, completely out of its element, threatened by the noise and people, creatures it's never seen before. Combine that with a mystery illness and it's no wonder the unknown would have become dangerous to the organization experimenting on it. Repeated conjuring from its native world to Greenville in at least two known times of 1943 and around 1981 meant that it stopped having world displacement syndrome because the repeated conjuring created a connection where it's technically kind of part of Greenville's world now too. This causes the unknown to become a traveler of worlds because of its strong vessel, that of its legend. If you know they're casting a Frank Stone, you know how important that sentence is. This would cause it to stop suffering from world displacement syndrome. However, this caused a new problem for the unknown. When the experiments are ran, the unknown was conjured kind of like if the Dead by Daylight developers wanted you to play, they could make you, though they had to make sure the game runs and for the service to be up in order for you to find a lobby. When the unknown could be conjured by thought, it's like if a survivor thought, this queue is taking too long. When will it give a killer? You then immediately made to play the killer match, even if the game hasn't launched, and even if you were sleeping. Much less steps involved to make you do it and much more inconvenient for you. The unknown knows is conjured by people thinking of a concept similar to it, proof later in the video, so it's not a surprise that the tiger wants to hit the people at the zoo who prevent it from staying in its natural habitat. The unknown can uniquely be conjured by thought, probably because of its latent, biomechanical, psychedelic, and hallucinogenic properties. This might be why staring at the unknown dissipates the weakened status effect, because that negates its hunting strategy and messes with its world travel properties. This is the surface level information. Time to get into the discoveries to explain what the unknown truly is. The unknown's anniversary weapon cosmetic is a big clue as its skin oozed, materializing blue fabric. The unknown's body cosmetics and head cosmetics are basically fur it can materialize. The text from this cosmetic set shows the unknown's intelligence isn't that great because it's a bad strategy to disguise itself as the target it wants to lure, which would scare the target away instead of luring them. This weapon cosmetic inadvertently made me have a realization. The weapon the unknown uses are from the people it devours, right? Do you know what separates humans from animals? Humans use tools. Chimpanzees and monkeys have been seen to use tools too, and they share a lot of DNA with humans. This isn't to say that the unknown has part human DNA. This is to say that the unknown is semi-human intelligent. This inadvertently led me to a new discovery. There's an add-on hinting that the unknown's cast was thought to be Bigfoot's. 
Bigfoot is often said to possess semi-human intelligence while being like a wild creature, similar to the unknown. Bigfoot is classified as a cryptid. A cryptid is a creature whose existence or survival is disputed, such as Loch Ness Monster or Yeti. The major discovery is that the unknown's true identity is a different world's cryptid. Want more evidence? Good, because you're going to have it now. From a cryptozoography perspective, the unknown is a perfect creature. Aside from semi-human intelligence and having self-awareness, its repertoire of properties include audio and visual mimicry of humans to a medium fidelity degree, semi-shape-shifting camouflage, teleportation, inducing psychedelic and hallucinogenic effects in others, acidic or corrosive projectiles that can burn through bricks and efficiency in consuming food. The unknown has properties of durability and longevity too. These two final properties can be proven through the Castlevania Tomes outfit. The Castlevania body cosmetic shows two arrows. One piece is right below the navel, which might be survivable. However, the arrow piercing the back of the shoulder is unlikely to be survivable because the shoulder has a major artery. So if one is shot in the shoulder, then chances are they will lose a lot of blood. Notice how the arrow below the navel isn't that embedded, which signifies possible skin armor, while the arrow in the shoulder is embedded deeper. This might possibly prove that the unknown doesn't have organs the way humans do. The theory here is that the unknown's body is a shell with fur, while the tentacles from the back that present themselves in the mori are the main organ for food, while the tentacles from the neck are a different organ for hunting. This would explain how the unknown can't replicate eyes, because that's too different from its composition. Either way, this makes the unknown very durable. The unknown has longevity too, because this outfit is confirmed to be a memory from the medieval ages. These properties would certainly propel it to cryptid status. There's even possibly a hint of the unknown's wild creature nature in the lore that's been staring at you in the face this whole time without you realizing. Every time someone in the lore is taken by the entity, they're tempted by visions or tricked or don't put up too much of a fight before being taken. Remember this in the back of your mind? Now to read some of the unknown's lore. But then the voice rose, cracked and distorted in sudden panic as if the brooding creature behind the door were under attack. To see a bulky shape with frenzied tentacles being pulled into a thick mass of fog, vanishing slowly into the darkness like a dying shadow. Does the vivid and visceral description of the unknown being taken sound like a wild creature fighting to prevent capture? Possibly. Possibly. There's an interesting theory you might want to hear. Have you noticed how dispelling hallucinations has the same particle effects play out on the unknown Mori survivors? This could possibly be because hallucinations are made from the waste of people devoured by the unknown. Call me crazy, except you have the evidence presented that maybe the hallucinations the unknown sheds are the unknown's poops. It's hard to find a lore theory why the unknown can teleport to its own poops though. Personally don't believe the theory, it's likely the explanation is they wanted to reuse assets for the particle effects. The unknown even provides lore information of itself in-game. The unknown has three classifications of voice lines. One are in-game, which signifies mimicry of people to lure them. The second classification is Mori voice lines, which signify movie quotes. The third classification is Lobby voice lines, which are the unknown's own conscious and sentient thoughts. There's several Lobby voice lines of interest. The first Lobby voice line is I, the Nameless Legend, signifying the unknown has awareness of how it's conjured by people's thoughts and is intelligent enough to acknowledge it has identity and concept of the self. The second voice line is I've lived in dungeons long forgotten. That's the coolest voice line in the game, and whoever wrote that voice line deserves a raise. This voice line proves the unknown being in the medieval ages, and its captivity in a dungeon supports its legendary cryptid status. Majority of cryptids are thought to be one of a kind, which looks to be the case for the unknown too. The third voice line is hunger, intolerable hunger, which goes hand in hand with the rabbit's foot add-on. The unknown isn't evil the same way a tiger isn't evil because it hunts for food. The unknown feeds on other creatures for nutrition too, which doesn't support a malicious motivation. The fourth voice line is, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. It can laugh because it's in the entity's realm with an unlimited supply of food, and it can't be conjured by thought, except it can cry because it's held in captivity in very horrid conditions. The final line is, I will not be denied my happiness, and is a theory. 
The front page article add-on description writes that the unknown drove a family out of its residence and made holes in the structure. This is reminiscent of the holes on the Greenville movie theater. The happiness the unknown wants is possibly to stop suffering from its intolerable hunger and be left in peace. Brace yourself, because this is going to disturb you. The Greenville theater you play in isn't a movie theater. It's not a secret government research lab now either. The Greenville theater you play in is the unknown's nest. If that isn't enough to disturb you, then this final revelation might. The unknown you see in game might not be its final form. The unknown might be evolving. Its mimicry of human speech and visual likeliness of humans may be improving. That isn't considering the possibility its biology or intelligence aren't evolving either. Here's a cat picture to help you cheer up if you feel disturbed. If you fancy the video, you can click on the cat to subscribe for more videos like these. Or you can watch the next lore video. Or you can focus on the darkness of the background to keep feeling more dread. Happy Halloween. Cheese.